Another great batch of wisdoms from John Maxwell in Relationships 101, What Every Leader Needs to Know. And I was really intrigued in reading this book because he goes around, you know, how to build a team that trust and respect are the glue that build it, etc., etc. And um, one of the great quotes from the book is, believing in others before they have proven themselves is what actually motivates people to reach their potential. And let's just pause on that for a moment. And the key word there is before. So often we're jaded because people have let us down in the past, etc. And we we literally set them up to fail because we don't believe they'll do it. We don't actually acknowledge whether they have the ability or the resources. And we go out there and we say, okay, go and do it. And then we'll see. And there's almost a, a definite feeling and sense within the leader that this won't work. And you know, once you put that out there, kind of proves yourself right, right? So look at look around at the people in your team and figure out who can you believe in before they've actually proven themselves because they have the ability and they have the means. They just need the freedom to fly. But chapter seven really got to me because it says, what is the most important relationship? And of course, one then thinks about, is it self? Is it this? Is it that? And of course, it always starts with self because you've got to have your own mindset and belief there. But he speaks predominantly about it being your family and however and whoever your family are made up of. And the whole thing about being succeed at home and all other relationships become easier. Now consider when you have a balance of a relationship at home that is, that is thriving. The positive intake of love, affection and respect in the home really gives you the ability to foresee anything that happens in the workplace because the people at home are, are the people that you have handpicked, the people that you have chosen, the people that you have birthed. Um, and the ones that work have been brought together usually by somebody other than you. It could be HR, it could be anybody that have collectively brought in a group of people to work together for the sake of something outside of any of you. And when you've got that balance and that security and that support and you are heard and loved and respected at home, there is less of a need to find it in the outside world. And let's face it, you probably aren't going to find it in the way that we want it as humans in the workplace. So it was really intriguing for me when he goes through the different steps to building a strong family are in fact exactly the same steps to building a strong relationship anywhere. It's a great read with lots of insights and the reason that this one became so important for him was he was more and more seeing that in the pursuit of success, people were losing the very thing they were trying to succeed for and that was they turned around once they'd reached that pinnacle of whatever success was for them and looked to an empty home. And let's not make that for you and I. Let's be present, let's be there and let's be with our families when we come home. And as we work in this home space at the moment, make sure that you are setting boundaries, that you have clarity in your own mind to switch off, not just to be there in body, but to be there in mind and spirit as well. Because you and I both know that you can sense immediately when somebody is there, but they're very, very far away. Great food for thought, enjoy, have a great weekend.